Okay, what I'm going to be doing here is trying out some new stuff I just got on this little radio, which has some bad buttons. And I'm going to try to repair that. Now, I've never done this before, but I did a little research and bought the K Coat 44 with one gram of silver bearing paint that's made for repairing membrane buttons and also bought the deoxid D5 I'll clean the oxidation off the connectors so let's just take this thing apart antenna knobs this is an Alenco DJ V5 this is a ham radio dual band battery and it all comes out the back with two screws using the double aught Phillips and putting that somewhere where it won't get lost and that one pull the antennas jack and volume knob control out the top and mind the little wires for the speaker and here is the membrane for the 16 button keypad and then here's the power and band switching button and I've lost one here somewhere where'd it go? Oh. Now the way these membrane buttons work, and you have these in remote controls and cell phones and all over the place these days, on the inside of the rubber button you have this little tiny carbon impregnated rubber pad and these things wear and when you push the button down the pad just shorts across these little gold contacts on the circuit board. Now I've had this apart already before this came in. I cleaned those real good and it still didn't want to work. So now we're going to try our hand at using this K-Coat 44. It comes with a number of little applicators, little cleaning sticks. These are not Q-tips by the way, they're little lint-free foam applicators of some kind and then the little tiny vial of one gram of this so let me get my 3.5 power headband magnifier with which it is impossible to do such work if you don't have one and I'm thinking take one of these little applicators and dab the tiniest amount I don't know if you can see or not, but these carbon pads in this particular membrane switch setup are very small. They're about, oh, two millimeters across, and you don't want to get anywhere else. So even with this little bitty applicator, you can see it's going to be very close work. And I probably should have something to hold that. I'm going to put that in this little hobby vise otherwise it's going to be falling over I'm trying to deal with it two of these little applicators obviously once you get some of that on one it's finished so I need to it doesn't come up open easy yeah there's some on the lid you wouldn't want to spill this stuff they say if you get it on something you can't get it off which I guess is good if you're getting it on what you want it on and not so good otherwise just wring that out a little bit and it just looks like a silver colored paint you just touch it touch it touch it touch it and I'm just gonna blot it until I don't see any dark spots in the middle of it well
Maybe that'll fix it. We won't know until after it's dried and we put the radio back together. Get it off the edges there so it won't short the other contacts on the board. It says you should dry these for like 10 or 15 minutes under a light bulb, 125 degrees. I don't have any incandescent lights in here, so I'm just going to let them air dry. Just blot it, blot it, blot it, blot it, blot it. Well, that's bound to be more conductive than it was, that's for sure. Whether it's enough or not, I don't know. Next. I haven't even dipped it again. See, I'm still using... In fact, I should cap that and set it down before I spill it. Remember, that's one gram of the stuff, and it's $10 worth, so I don't want to spill it. edge there and there's the three main buttons now let's see how much trouble I could get into trying to just go ahead and do all 16 of these so they won't be wearing out on me you definitely do need the headband magnifier this is small stuff Blot it till it's silver. You don't want to have the coffee shakes when you're doing this. There's two of them. That's looking just right. That's actually easier to do than I thought. You just blot it until you can't see no more black showing through. And you hope that it levels and slicks out enough when it dries to uh, make a flat contact against those little gold pads on the circuit board. I did look at a number of videos and read a number of articles where people have used the K-Code 44 kit to repair their cell phones and remote controls and none of them really showed them actually doing it. So I was questioning, well, exactly how does that go, you know? And uh, so that's why I'm making this video. So if you've ever wanted to repair the membrane buttons on your car radio, your uh, cell phone, your HT, other kinds of electronics, use these membrane buttons. But it is coated. See? Anyway, that's about two millimeters there. And I see I've got a little bit on the edge. So, that's a new one for me. I've done industrial instrumentation and worked on radios and all sorts of stuff before, but I've never repainted silver onto a membrane thing. Now, before I do that, show you the back of that one for what it's worth. The other thing I'm going to do is I've been having a little trouble with the power jack kind of not wanting to work very well. So while that's apart I'm going to give it the quickest possible blast of deoxit like that. And while it's apart, I'll go ahead and do the mic jack and external speaker jack. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. I'll let this dry. I heated them a little bit with a hair dryer on low. I'm going to put the radio back together and see if they work. Get that all laid down like it belongs. Reassemble your radio or remote control or whatever. 
being careful not to pinch any wires checking that everything is coming through where it's supposed to teeny tiny screws double lock Phillips is usually the case on this kind of stuff never use a Phillips that isn't the right size for the screws you're dealing with because you will surely ruin them okie dokie battery power it works the aid is now working which wasn't before looks like everything's working stuff works and buying those two items is probably a lot less than they would charge me for two new membranes if they're even available I love fixing things instead of buying new so there you have it repairing membrane buttons for the first time please see my other videos under the name wagon one and please see the articles on my website, kv5r.com. Thanks for watching.